also calling for Cedillo and De Leon to resign. Their fellow council member, we have him here in studio tonight, Marquise Harris Dawson of South LA. Councilman, thanks for being here, especially on this this mm -hmm. week, this historic week in Los yes. Angeles. Um, what do you make of the fact that they haven't resigned yet? What is that about? Is this about money? Is this about ego? Is it about power? Is it about stubbornness? What's happening behind the scenes? I think it's about all those things. I think people really delude themselves into thinking I'm not a racist and you know uh, I've been misunderstood and maybe if I take more time I can explain it away and I think the more people come out and the more people are clear with them I think uh, they'll come and do the right thing. When you heard the recordings yourself knowing that these are your colleagues mm -hmm. Was this a surprise or you know how when you know your colleagues how they carry themselves differently yeah. in front yeah. of the camera versus behind yeah. closed doors you've seen that behind closed doors so was this a surprise or had you seen this I, you know you see glimpses of it uh, I never thought the intensity of it, it uh, existed and I thought that you know there was sort of light touch maybe a, a bad joke here or a microaggression here I didn't think that they were full bore like openly anti-black and indigenous and gay and all the rest. And Armenian and Korean yes. and Jewish. It, it, and it was a full on. trail mix yeah. of uh, yeah. offenses in the group. In the group. Yeah. And they even referenced you at, at one yes. point. Let's, I'm sure you want to hear this again. Let's play this. Uh... So getting back to Marquise, I told Danny, if you want to cut a deal and if you want to, if, if you want to make like a moves, I would go after the airport. He goes, I know that idea. I said, tell my boys, so go take him go, from his friend. Don't go. Don't go around to leave him alone. Yeah. Go get the airport from his little brother, mm -hmm. that little bonnet. How many black people? I go, what, I go, I go, what is with the bonnet? What's with bonnet? And I said, bonnet thinks he's black. That guy don't think he's black. I go, he thinks he's black. Yeah. I go, the same thing. So this is talking about redistricting yeah. uh, potentially the airport. They talked about the fact that there's a lot of money of having the airport in your district. Um, we've had conversations about redistricting reform now. Is that like going to happen? Well, Where I are we think, at on that? I think we were headed towards redistricting reform with or without this scandal uh, because the last process left us such a bad taste in everyone's mouth even without knowing about this tape. I think we'll absolutely have it, have it now. and. Uh, It'll take politicians out of the position of having to be fighting for voters that they want, that are favorable to them and their friends, and trying to get their opponents to get voters that they don't want. So that starts in, in what well, is that going to be a ballot measure in 2024? It, it has to be a ballot measure in 2024. That has to be a charter reform. I think there are a number of charter reforms that we probably need to look at, uh, in, up to and including what the role of the council president is overall. Have you spoken to uh, De Leon, Cedillo, Martinez? I spoke to De Leon and Cedillo for a hot second on the council floor. It didn't go well, uh, so I walked away. What did you say? Mean? What do you mean? It. Well, I told him, I said, guys, you got to leave the room. Um, and, you know, Gil Cedillo and I both had a back and forth because at one time he was an organizer, I was a community organizer, and there was a big crowd there. And, you know, he's telling me, well, they've got to control their crowd. When we were organizers, we controlled our crowds. And I said, Gil, you don't understand the magnitude of what's no. happening here. That was yesterday. This is today. New ball game. How much do you think that this set the council back? How do you go on? How do you recover? How do you do your job and be trusted uh, as a council member? I, I, look, I think the council has to do a lot of work to clean this up and to, con to build trust. At first, we got to stop the slide of into cynicism and, uh, and sort of distrust. We got to do that first. Then we got to put some things in place to begin to turn it around and get it to go back the other directions. But, you know, it's incalculable what these people cost the Los Angeles City Council. Right on the tail of, you know, three, uh, three indictments. I, you know, I grew, grew, you know, worked in South LA for all my adult life. I feel like more people got arrested around me being on the city council than, than uh, they did when I was in the neighborhood. Well, and, and then I know you've done work with Community Coalition yes. uh, for so many years, which was started by Congresswoman Karen Bass, and is this idea of bringing really the black and brown community yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been working on that for decades. That's right. We also know there is a fraught history of black brown conflict in Los Angeles. Where does that issue go from here? Does it feel like the scab was just ripped off, up in and, and like it's just raw anger and hurt right now? Frankly, I think that's actually the one good thing that's going to come out of this. We get to see who Los Angeles is. Hmm. Um, it's not as if Latinos are out defending <laughs> the people on that tape. In fact, they're some of the loudest people 
uh, telling them they got to go. You, you all just uh, showed a protest in front of Cedillo, uh, De Leon's field office. 100% Latinos. When I came to City Hall on Tuesday mm. morning, it really lifted me because I was in the dumps. Mm. I walk into the public interest of City Hall, and I'm greeted by a 15-piece mariachi band, oh. all Mexicans, all saying, guys, you got to go, and you got to go yeah. now. That must have felt good, as it you did. said. It did. So this is the city right. that I thought it was. Are you going to run for council president? I am not going to run for council president. Why not? Well, you know, I think the council needs a stabilizing force uh, now. I'm on the tape. Uh, I think anybody on the tape on any side of it, you know, even though that's not, any, not their fault, I think we should kind of step to the side, let some more neutral forces step in place, take leadership, get us stabilized, and then we can think about what we do once we write the ship. We'll see. we'll see next we'll see. week. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Clearly talked to you all night. Yes. Yeah. Thank Mar you. Marquise, thanks so much for being with us. Um,